So after two years, I still see this trend or style of video being made by many other YouTubers. The classic, Halo Infinite is dead, or why this is the end for Halo Infinite. Well, I do agree to a certain extent that Infinite is dead or lacking a player base. I just think this type of Halo content is completely irrelevant. Now of all times is not the time to be making this style of content. If anything, Halo Infinite is in one of its best states it's ever been in. We have Forge, custom games, custom game browser, and co-op campaign. And don't forget the tons of maps the 343 have added since launch. This season alone we've gotten multiple new game modes and 11 new maps added to Halo Infinite. 11 maps in season 4 alone. While I do think criticism is really good for the game, I don't think this type of criticism is good because the devs have been working super hard to give us what we want. A lot of the creators are pointing the fingers at 343's current staff and management. With something they are forgetting is 343 has a lot of new management and staff. You can even see on the Microsoft website that they are currently hiring new staff to work on Halo Infinite and future Halo projects. I think if anything now would be a good time to actually promote the franchise that they claim to love so dearly. Or at least give positive feedback in these videos about the game's current state. Instead of digging up the problems that occurred at the start when the game originally released. The big problem at the start of Infinite is everybody knows is the lack of content, the game not being delivered with what previous titles already had. Desync was also a massive issue, but if you look at Halo Infinite now, and what it has to offer is just as good as any previous Halo title. Once Season 5 drops, and 5 fight is here, Infinite will be back on track to being one of the best Halo games. And I know it is a pity that Infinite didn't release with all this content, but we can't keep saying that phrase over and over again. I get that comment the most on this channel that it, it should have been released with all this content. The fact is that it didn't, but 343 are currently working like crazy to give us all that content we want. Since Squad, since squad Battle got added, I've, I've played countless hours on Infinite. We even got Halo Reach's Countdown, remade in Halo Infinite, renamed as Dreich. I've spent the last two days in that 24-7 playlist. It's the first time since Forge that I felt fully invested in this game again. That's why it's a pity to see these types of videos still being made and getting the views that they are getting. Even if you look at the comments in most of these videos, people are still saying that the game is unplayable. Which is a complete lie in my opinion. Honestly, unless, unless you're playing on a fucking toaster from the 60s, like there must be something wrong with your setup or your rig or your internet. Something is going wrong on your end. Because my game runs perfect. Apart from the odd decent care in there, which the majority of modern games that you play now have this issue. I have over 2000 hours on Apex and the servers in that game were like hell for almost two years. Still, still to this day, they have terrible issues on that game and the game is over four years old. I'm hoping for season five, more Halo fans will come back, play Halo again, just put the awful release of this game behind them and enjoy what we have now. I can almost guarantee in 5 or 10 years when the next game releases that people look back and say oh my god Halo Infinite, what a great game. The same as they're doing now for Halo 5. That's all for now boys, stay safe out there and I'll talk to you in the next one.